Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. As you can see when I reloaded my save file, I ended up over here instead of Telma's bar, but that doesn't really matter anyway. I'm going to be leaving town through this gate and I will continue east to the lake, which is the place where that red mark on the map is. As stated before, in the twilight, there really isn't much you can do, so just run through everything. <laughs> Unless you want to stay back and like kill enemies all over the place. I, I just don't see the point of it unless you want to grind for rupees or maybe drops or something like that. Anyway, go through here. And there's a split in the road up ahead, but you can't go left because you need bombs. Well, you have bombs, but you're not human linked to be able to use bombs. <laughs> I do not trust animals with bombs and neither would I. So I'll just go down this path. And let's read the sign. I don't think this place is open yet, but I'll check it out. Oh, let's just see if there's like someone over there or something like that. No, it doesn't look like it. And because I have paws, I can't open doors. Dang! <sighs> I wish I had my opposable thumbs. Anyway, let's go to the other side. And a little cutscene will happen. I like how, what they title this bridge. It's called the Great Bridge of Hylia, but look at this thing. It looks like it's going to fall apart any second now. <laughs> There's no supports underneath it. It's just attached to both sides of the canyon. And down there, if you don't get it, is the dried up lake bed. Yeah, they seem to have quite a problem here. And what is this poop on the bridge that's all shiny? Hmm. Uh oh. Looks oily too. Uh oh. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We have to do something! Put out the fire! Stop! I, what if I tell? Oh, panic! 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 Ooh, a crate! Basically, grab the crate, push it to the wall, get on top of the crate, jump over the edge, and do a leap of faith. That's the only way out of that. <laughs> You're supposed to do this. It's part of the whole storyline arc here. Good thing there's water below, though. Otherwise, that could be a little bit painful. Although, jumping from that height would probably kill you anyway once you hit the water with the surface tension. But hey, we probably shouldn't question that, you know, the game logic and whatnot. Universes have imploded before. Rosalina needed to be called. It was just an entire issue. Let's just not go through that again, shall we? Okay. <laughs> Let's shall we do indeed. What, what am I even saying there? Anyway, let's talk to these spirits. These are Zoras, by the way. Hmm. Well, that doesn't sound too good. But we already knew there was a big water shortage because no one in town seemed to have water. Oh man, a lot of spots to dig over there. I wonder if I should even bother with them. <laughs> After I get this place fixed up, I won't be able to dig at those things anymore, but... Then it's, that likely means that there's nothing that I, that's important over here. Probably just rupees and hearts. Yeah, somehow I missed the digging spot. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave them. I don't, I don't feel like messing around that long at all those digging spots. Alright. What is a house doing at the bottom of the lake? Well, let's find out. At the new lake bottom location. You'll see what he means by that eventually. Hmm. Interesting. So there might be a problem up there, huh? But we're kind of trapped in this bowl. Oh, poop! Well, this is not a good... 
You're just gonna cower like that? <laughs> I guess you are. <clears throat> well, what are at these spots here? Why do I keep bothering with these things? Dang it. <laughs> I don't need what's in there. Arr, just leave the digging spots alone unless they're important. Anyway, attack this guy. Or not. Actually, this is a little mini boss of sorts. Hey, hey! You're not allowed to use that. Only I am! This doesn't sound like a hawk! <laughs> oh, boop. Tag team time! These creatures are kind of nightmare fuel. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, you can't really... Ow. You can't really attack it right now, so... Just strafe around the side and wait for it to dive at you. Like it's about to do. Keep that Z targeting on it the whole time. And... Jump at it! A button, A button, A button! Urgh, button mash! And that's how you basically defeat it. It's... It... It's a pretty unique enemy combination here because of the way they did it, but it's... So I, that's why I kind of consider it a mini-boss, but at the same time, it's so easy that it's not really boss-like. <laughs> you there, you caused me so much trouble. I will destroy you. Midna's taking the reins. You know, that sounds like a pretty good idea. That, I, I wanted to ride on back, not be in the sharp claws. Oh, out of my armpits. Well, anyway, we have a little mini game here of sorts. Gotta fly through the canyon. Press the A button to dash, and just tilt the Wii Remote to angle yourself wherever you want to go. There's... I don't really think there's anything that the control stick can do. Actually, the control stick seems to, like, mess with the camera a little bit, but otherwise it's Wii Remote and A button. Very simple controls. I have never died in here. It's very easy to get through this. Although you can get shot by their arrows every once in a while. It's not going to be life-threatening or anything like that. These pillars might, though. Nah, they get stuck on their way down. Like, this one's gonna get stuck across the canyon. Or I'll just get underneath it before it even gets there. <laughs> that works, too. I believe this one comes right straight towards you. Ooh. Yeah, it's basically a flying minigame. You just dodge some poop. No big deal. Try not to stay too low, because that's where most of the danger is. But if you go too high, I'll probably hit that invisible ceiling that always seems to exist in game worlds. <laughs> Alright, what other surprises are coming for us here? Oh boy! Cavens, this can't be good. Yeah, you'll notice that they're combining uh, arrows with bombs, just as you can, to shoot the stalactites on the ceiling. I think they're stalactites if they're on the ceiling. It's either stalactites or stalagmites. I always get them mixed up. One's on the ground, one's on the ceiling. <laughs> and through here is the exits. But, whoa, that was weird. It just made me go like straight up as the transition happened. Safe! <laughs> I hear a howling stone. So that one's around here somewhere. That was awesome. <laughs> Indeed. I kind of forgot where I'm supposed to go there. I mean, supposed to go here. As I said, can't memorize every aspect of this game, but oh, I'll get through it. I've been through the game like three times now, so. <laughs> If I can do it on my own before, I can do it on camera. Dang it. <laughs> so he seemed to have... What? Oh. 
You don't have a blanket? Come on now. Oh. <laughs> Or maybe just the fact that the climate here is uh, not what it used to be. They might be hinting at something there, or not. So, what are these? Again, I'm getting distracted by these digging spots. <laughs> I'll just go through these. I bet you it's another heart. Yeah. What's in the crates? What's in the crates? <clears throat> eh, nothing. Okay. Let's move on. I think I'm actually supposed to to jump down there, but I don't want to do that just yet. I want to get over to the howling stone on the other side. I thought I'd seen it in the cutscene. Oh, it's up there. Ugh, can I do that? <laughs> Will Midna go <laughs> or something to let me get across there? Uh, maybe I'll have to do it later. Well, anyway, I'm supposed to follow the river, or I should say, the ice, over to the source to see what is the problem. And I think you know what the issue is now. <laughs> Things have gotten a little bit chilly, and yeah. So what is this place now? Zora's Domain doesn't look too good. It looks like in the adult time of uh, Ocarina of Time. Uh oh. Hopefully the Zoras haven't gone extinct besides the ones uh, that are still alive at the lake bed bottom. Anyway. Uh, I believe I want to go to here and then do hop, skip, and the jump. <laughs> uh, the objective is to get all the way up to the top so I can do something. You'll see when I get there. Whoa! Why did I fall? I was pressing the A button. That was... What? I don't... Blasphemy, what is this craziness? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't take that long to get back up there. What? And I just jumped myself off the edge. This is going swimmingly, isn't it? <laughs> One more time. This time, a little more careful. Calm down, relax. Let's get across. I forgot about that. <laughs> Again! From the top. Well, it's actually like from the bottom, but... You get what I'm saying here. <laughs> once, once it runs out of... Ice to fall... I shouldn't have any trouble getting across. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Mm, mm, mm. There we go. To the light we go! Now we are about to see something quite spooky. Not these guys, something even spookier. Look beneath the ice down here. See all those spirits? Well, first I gotta take care of this one over here. Because it's out of the way. I can't lock onto all three of them at once that way. You there. Everyone together. Ow! There we go. Man, I lost a lot of health in this part. <laughs> Just a lot of fumbling. I'm sure I could find some hearts somewhere. <laughs> That sounds good to me, but I'd like to show you something before I do so. This is both creepy yet artistic at the same time. It's like they all got flash frozen as they were trying to escape whatever happened over here. But we can do something about it. Like right now. 
Remember that super hot thingy that fell at uh, Death Mountain? Yeah, that's what you need. <laughs> Wait, where? I don't remember which is. This is the Kakariko branch, right? Yeah. There we go. Warp to Death Mountain. If you don't remember what thing I'm talking about, it was the thing that I said, remember this odd hot object over here. This thing right here. Yeah, this humongous hot piece of rock here. If you forgot about it, shame on you. You would probably have gotten stuck. <laughs> so, now we warp to Zora's Domain. Let's plop this right in the ice. You can tell she's quite the powerful sorcerer if she's able to lift something like this. I mean, she lifted a bridge before, but this is probably even denser and heavier than the bridge. And here we are. I don't know if I would have just plopped it in there like that, but yeah, it works. Woo! Bloom! <laughs> it was glowing so much, the bloom effects have been doubled. Alright, so it looks like everything's back to normal here. <laughs> exactly. But uh, shouldn't we chat with the peeps around here first? Maybe? That, so that does sound good, but there's so many people to talk to. Oh my. Oh, there's so many. I I'm, I'm surprised they're alive after being frozen. I mean, I... I don't know of any creature that could be frozen. Well, there's probably some creature that could be frozen and then late like goes into a hibernation or something like that. So maybe that's what the, the Zoras can do or something like that, but But they're safe now, thank goodness. Mm-hmm. That's down below, by the way. That was a place that I came from that I couldn't seem to get out of as I was climbing up here because I kept falling. Hmm. Hmm. I hope so. Hey, oh, didn't mean to do that. You, let me speak. Well, I can't speak to you, I can only listen. Who did? You may never know. <laughs> Alright, let's jump back down. What? Wait, what? Who might this be? Rutella, huh? Sounds to me like she passed away since she said, in life. Why, do it, why does everyone need our help? Dang it! <laughs> so, is that the Zora that was sick? Probably. Sounds like it.
Oh, I guess I could do this. Ooh, that sounds good. That sounds really good. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a very good idea. Oh! Anyway, now let's go down this way and see the other ones at the waterfall pool. See if they're doing well. Is that a good thing? <laughs> uh, Okie dokie, what the heck. Woo! And, whoa, 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 I can't, oh, I can't turn, dang it. <laughs> well, that's okay, I suppose. I guess that means there wasn't anyone for me to talk to there after all. So here's the lake, all nice and filled up. And would you look at that, his house is floating. Yeah, that's what he meant by his uh, new lake bed location. <laughs> you know, the guy that had the house at the bottom of the lake. But it looks like we're exactly where we need to be, huh? Isn't that handy? <laughs> In we go! Lanaru. Let's do a little chat and then end off the part, shall we? Oh, why must they always talk so slowly? A button, a button, a button. <laughs> oh, come on, this is still early in the game. What are you talking about? <laughs> There's much more to go. Much harder challenges. And we get the vessel of light, and now we can finally start collecting the tears. That's why I said I didn't really want to get that bug back in front of Telma's bar just yet. I'd like to have them like in one part or something like that and I just said like four times in that one sentence. Curses! <laughs> oh I know. I've already taken care of two of these twilight areas. You don't have to tell me twice. Actually, this is technically a third time, but still. <laughs> yeah, this is the last cloud of twilight in the entire game. So, let's get to that in the next part. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you then.